just the sweet science. This guy could have been a professional boxer, probably a world champion if he so chose. He loves the MMA game, but his boxing certainly is bread and butter. I mean, a guy that was on par to make an Olympic team, and that is in one specific skill set. When you reach that level, when you're winning the national championship, and you're about to go to the Olympics, but you choose a different avenue, yeah. you decide you want to fight mixed martial arts, it's truly something special. He has the most educated jab I have ever seen in the octagon. He throws the jab, it always comes back to the face. It never goes to the hip. And if you rush him, if you rush him, he has the ability to switch stances from conventional to southpaw and land a great, counter right hand that will put your lights up. Better jab than your guy, Rosendo Sanchez. Oh, it's no. unbelievable. He puts Rosendo Sanchez to shame. Sarukyan, a lightweight that many believe will one day be wearing UFC gold around his waist. The winning streak is in tow, and the strength of schedule has just been fantastic, really dating to the Islam Akashev fight back in 2019. At times, perhaps Sarukyan has been a victim of expectation, but largely he has lived up to what was some appreciable hype when he signed with the UFC back in 2019. He has inched his way towards contention. He's a guy that some have called the boogeyman of lightweight division, a guy that a lot of people don't want to fight. Eventually, you got to fight him. We'll see if he can rise to the occasion here tonight. for this, our main event of the evening. Now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Lee the Leech King Leon! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Armin Ahakalakat Tarukian! All right, Herb Dean, third man in the fight. octagon for this one. Ready. All right, so as we get this stand-up only fight underway, just a quick reminder on the rule set, no grappling or wrestling of any type, and fighters also cannot follow up with ground strikes on the canvas. So if you knock your opponent down, you cannot follow up with strikes. Very important to point that out here at the beginning of round one. What a great job getting that kick to the target. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Big left hook coming. Counters with a left punch. I mean, these guys are letting it fly. What a pace that they're fighting now. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Oh! Massive kick to the head. Nice punch land. Right I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing three birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him, he hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off, and now, Pass the time to find that shot again. Oh, punches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing the shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks 
Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Oh! Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one blocked by the leech. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Hands high, hands high. Straight punch there again. Been there all night. Oh, and another nice combination, just absolutely picking him apart on the feet. I'd probably be tapping due to strikes. I point. mean, he is destroying him, but don't sell yourself short. <laughs> you don't tap him. is though what type of condition will he be in when he gets up off that stool 60 seconds here to recover the onus is on his corner to keep his head in the fight all right so there's the horn signifying the end of the round a stunner there with the head strike midway through nearly got him out of there for good almost got him out of there he hurt him badly he had his opponent hurt real bad now his opponent's walking back to his corner Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight Ready is going. Fight. Ready. Here Ready. we are, early round two. That uppercut appeared to find its home. Another punch to the head. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Oh, huge left. Oh, nice power shot. Big power shot. Oh, oh he's wobbling now. Both tough, both durable, both unwilling to take a step back. What a phenomenal fight. Oh, landing some big shots, too. Oh, that's big. Jab hurt him a little bit. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a really good job by him there to raise the guard. Deep. Let's go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 55 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Lee, the Leech King Leon. Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight. 